Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Legendary Blind playthrough after last uh, mission where we are yeah, really hard pressed to fight uh, through a Pandorian hive. We are changing it up a little bit and today it is time for the Antediluvian Ruins where we're fighting against the ancients because I just can't get enough from hardcore missions. So we got inappropriate Murphy with us, still without a second class, but with all of his inappropriate swag that he typically brings to the missions. And we got Asian cow with us. Not going to be the permanent uh, mm, the permanent solution for this team but I suppose someone is better than no one assault body armor sniper legs interesting let's go with this and whilst we're at it, I think Euler, we wanted to have a body augmentation. There you go. Slightly overweight now. And the way to solve that is by increasing the strength and reducing some of the ammunition. Good. In terms of equipment, I mean, we have the virus rifle, which in itself is fine f for Murphy. We gave him the assault rifle quite a while ago. I need something that that will shred armor. And I think this here is going to be okay. Good, in terms of general armor shredding, right? We got this here. Uh, a lot of uh, grenades, but also the uh, Hell 2 Phoenix Cannon. Dranks with the Bulldog. Very nice weapon that shreds a lot of armor. Why can he wear a blast vest and others cannot? That I don't understand. So let's just double check that. Is it a matter of being overloaded? Can hardly imagine that. Or is this here just a mistake? He does, he has the option to wear them as well. Did he however can't? It's strange because bleed immunity, viral poison and paralysis, uh, resistance, vulnerability to acid. Hmm. Okay, well, it is what it is. Anyways, we were with uh, we were looking at explosives, so we got that and that for shredding. Dranks has a rifle for shredding. Butcher owns has quite a bit that we could use. Hmm. 
Yeah, Shattered Realm doesn't have armor that allows uh, for the missile launchers. We do have VDM Defender, and those are allowing for um, it, uh, for shredding as well. I think we're just going to reduce the number of paralysis shots a little bit. So both of our snipers are fine. With a bit upgraded strength, we're actually doing well. Here, with, with her and uh, the Adrenaline Rush ability, we should be fine. Grell should be able to shred through armor quite a bit. And yeah, we do have we do have many, many, many different shields. The question is, do we have enough um, healing material? And Murphy will get some extra healing power. An Asian cow for now. Does have some healing as well. Okay, looks about right to me. Uh, mm, potentially too little armor penetration here. Uh, we are a berserker, so armor break with pistol would work. Not proficient with sniper rifles. It would be good to have multiple attacks on a target thanks to uh, bioalchemist. That's a great ability. But yeah, we're not proficient with anything but handguns, so Asian Cow will just, I suppose, uh, try to help as much as he can. Ooh, look at that. A new map. The Andalusian ruins are always one of my favorite tiles. And we got a lot of these crystals here. Okay, so let's remember their lasers were incredibly punishing. So what we need is really, really, really full cover. Well, moves over here. I think we're trying to get to that right side and fight from up here. Drinks moves up. Tell you what, we're going into full cover as well, and we have spotted the first enemy. So, Shattered Realm moves into cover, and if that is our first enemy... Then let's just pick them up, right? Murphy moves up. Euler dashes over. Mm. 
Moves a bit closer. Uh, quick aim. Yes, please. Did we finally activate this guy? Yeah, apparently we did. Can I hit him with Dilly G over here? Okay, cool. Well, that's still full cover. I like that. Guardian leg is heavily injured, so taking a shot. took him down fantastic well we don't even know where the rest of the guardians are operative on the move overwatch in this direction pistol overwatch Ranks uses the shield. Well, overwatches, we're having a lot of overwatches here. And I think for now we're fine. I tell you what, since we can wait, um, let's use the time to recover. Those who are not at full willpower can use the time to recover. Inappropriate Murphy moves up. Because I know we're uh, we're going to get into a pretty troublesome fight soon. These guardians are not to be underestimated. Lots of overwatch le left and right. Guardians moved, but nothing really happened. Tranks moved up. Ian the Butcher owns moved up, and look at that. Wouldn't you have thought about it? Wouldn't you have guessed it? Of course, we're triggering an enemy. Correction, we're triggering two enemies.
Okay, this time it is one with Oricalcum shields. So, I'm not taking any chances here. We need to break the shields. up confirming target hostile mist okay so we got the living shield down or at least Heavily injured now. She's not as accurate as I wish she would be, but she can shoot often, and that in itself is great. Six shots, and I think we killed. Um, pretty sure we killed the guy behind the guardian. Where's the laser? Torso disabled. That's a good start. And that is a kill. Okay. So far we're still doing good. Actually very good. We're spotting them out before before they can see us, thanks to our new technology. some shields left and right yeah Murphy is going to help uh, with at the moment just with speeding everyone up Time for us to recover will points wherever needed.
Good, back into recovery. Back into recovery. Now we're good. Uh, good enough to overwatch. Which is funny. The psyker doesn't even do that. In the butcher owns is doing that. Moving up. Not seeing anyone yet. Red and Euler are moving up as well. Overwatch, Age and Cow. Definitely doesn't go into the open. Drinks carefully baits if anyone is there. Using the ones with the highest perception. Did he moves up? And we're overwatching. Yeah, Shattered Realm is overwatching in this direction. Potentially not going to find much, but I think the bridge works in our favor here. Just re I'm just realizing that we're not at maximum health, and that could be a death a death sentence if we're really moving as the first person. My turn. I'm repositioning. Okay. I almost need to apologize for such a passive and defensive play, but I have great respect for the lasers. The last time that we fought them, they really kicked our asses. Unfortunately, he has potentially already seen us. I should have moved first. Should have moved uh, first.
and I should have uh, loaded up enough um, enough will points. But okay, well that one worked out well. There we go. Now the pain begins. Four enemies over there and one over there. And that is a problem. Only way out of this is finding a proper place where we can war scream and hit all of them. Okay, okay, that's good. Let's hope this will deter them a little bit. Who else does have a war scream? We got Dash on many of them, but Shattered Realm would be the second one with war scream. Which means I will need you over here. Maybe over here, but you get the point. Boom blast. Never seen them shoot twice with uh, with a laser, so I'm hoping that this will actually disable their laser, the war scream. doesn't we have a problem okay we need to get through the shield somehow I do have an I idea of how that could uh, be possible Now we don't want to cluster up. We already learned that is really a bad idea. Here come. Huh. All right, let's try again. I just need one hit. Hostile mist. Minus eight armor isn't fantastic, but it is okay. It's a first start. Minus sixteen after two solves. Try to hit the uh, center there.
Okay, we got some damage, unfortunately only against the shield. Reducing the armor. And yeah. I mean, the only other thing is pistol overwatch and respectively over here PDW overwatch. Oh no. Okay, now we do have a problem. So the rest of everyone is still frenzied. Maybe, maybe not. Starting over here. Move to there. And we're war crying. Because that worked absolutely fantastic. Secondly, regaining willpower. Now, this guy is definitely an issue. Hit the hat. Yeah. Oh, I don't miss. Hit that stupid shield, buddy. It's hard to shoot like this. Oh yeah, at least that was a hit. How did that? Still need to deal with this guy. Could hit everything. I think that's a good idea. Again, boom blast.
Did damage. Hit the armor. And I think I don't want to be hit by it. So there we go. Big fat shield. The decoy that is. Oh yeah, very good. Thankfully the decoy is just as strong as we are. That was not an, a shot to uh, for the decoy, that was unfortunately meant for us. So let me think. We do have... Not enough will points to speed people up. That's unfortunate. Everybody gained will points. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, we're having another war cry. And we're moving into cover. Cool. Okay, cool. Pretty good. We have enough for another The duplicate decoy that is. Attempting to acquire target. Hostile still active. Oh, I don't miss. Good. We're trying to hit this guy and we're Not nice. We just disabled one of the legs. Hostiles. be flanked can't do that need to get Dilly into a much better position unfortunately that requires a lot of movement
second leg disabled. Third leg takes even more damage. Do we have someone left over? Shattered round. I mean, look, we could recover. Which potentially wouldn't be too bad because then we're at 10. Or. We're simply moving up. And are continuing to pepper that ginormous thing with grenades. hundred days just from his pounds. I want to see if we can jump up there. Yes, we can. That changes everything, because all of a sudden... These guys here can easily be picked up. Yeah, well, easy might be too generous, but they can be picked up. First of all, this big guy here needs to die. And the easiest way of doing this is to focus on it. Good, it's almost down. Now, we need someone to kill it who is giving everyone a bonus. And reload an inventory, yes, shoots back, perception. What was that symbol? It's killing an animal uh, enemy grounds everybody an additional will point, right? Right. Good. Now everybody has one additional 
point. We just need one more so that I can shift that over and kill. the shields is almost down. Super accurate. Unfortunately, might not be enough to kill this guy. Everybody got a will point. That now is finally enough to move up here and do that. And with Onslaught, this here is just a small step for everyone and large payout. And our shields, very good. We only have one action point left, so no, no, no. no. Let's not charge in. We're moving into full cover. hit the shield but it wouldn't really change much hmm could destroy the shield but we couldn't really kill him so shield it is for us I by the way think that this is the last guy Might be wrong, but I'm relatively sure that that's the last guy. in return means Morel is moving up and teaches him a valuable lesson about melee combat 
and it was not the last one. I think now is a good time to really recover. Most of the soldiers are lacking will points at this point, so it's getting getting uh, to a moderate amount of will points really is enough. Ready for action. Hey, Shin Kao. Fine. Providing Overwatch. Pretty sure over on the left side might be a little bit more action. Murphy, for my taste, was too far away from the others. We are, have recovered in the front line. Up here, Shattered Realm is full and ready. Covering again with Euler, equally with Dilly G. Okay, so all we need to do is find the last guy. Quote unquote, all we need to do is find the last guy. Or the last guys. And finish what we came here for, which is clearing this mine and making it ours. found someone on the absolute other side of the map well that's a long shot even for my liking Murphy moves up against these guys he's really not that good Asian cow takes cover Look, we're going to ha ha uh, be hasted next turn, and then we're just going to rush towards that guy. 
guys. There's two of them. Fed Frenzy and a grenade. Recharging his actions. And shut the drum. Moves up and up. And both of them are war cried, which is good. Now Grell. Moves up there as well because I think we're just going to melee attack them next turn. just weakening the shields really all right end of turn Luckily, they are susceptible to melee combat. Okay, cool. I think I've found a way of dealing with them. The option to war, uh, war scream them, that was what I was missing. The lasers were just incredibly oppressive, but you need to get closer than war scream. And then you can even engage in melee combat. And the moment that they are in melee combat, they don't stand a chance. We just overpower them. So a thousand is resources. The ancients valued their refining facilities far more than their cities. The materials they produced undoubtedly were the basis of all their technology but I think they had a more urgent reason to have the refineries protected. Living crystals. For generations, humanity had attempted to create a perfect power source. The ancients succeeded in that, and more. New Jericho believed the samples I uncovered to be some ancient 
battery. From what we found, I'm certain they were wrong. Analyses remain inconclusive, but we know that the living crystals are indeed a source of power, and potentially a destructive power. Experiments have shown that prolonged exposure is capable of killing the Pandora virus and mutated cells, as well as entire Pandoran organisms. Human cells don't start showing signs until hours later. Decades won't be enough to uncover their secrets. For now, I'm certain of two things. The ancients were biologically different from humans, and they had defeated the Pandorans before. One question remains, though. Where does humanity stand in all this? Wow. From a scientific standpoint, living crystal is a material with a myriad potential application of engineering and medicine. From a philosophical standpoint, it represents the duty of our universe, the duality that we in Sanhedrin strive to assemble in the foundation of a successful future. From a strategic standpoint, the risk of leaving these sites in your hands outweighs the benefits. It is only prudent then that we dispatch our elite teams to secure the living crystal locations. We urge you to leave peacefully. Sanhedrin detests bloodshed, uh, but do not confuse this for weakness. We shall not show any. Okay, okay. So look at that, we got living crystals. And there is another antediluvian rune. Uh, little green just got his promotion. Still waiting for the second class. Anyways. Um, Barbara Weber, uh, that was uh, the gal who, or the guy, Barbora. Dude, your name is misleading. Uh, let's call you Barbara, okay? Because clearly you're a man. No need for that that name. Anyways, Barbara, who joined us, has uh, leveled in Phoenix Point. Vanessa has leveled a lot of uh, the, I would say, base sitting characters or leveling. And even Ankit, the doubter, has leveled. Cool. So, back to what I was saying, where is Medical 1? We're looking good, theoretically ready for another round of rumbling. There are more antediluvian uh, runes and they are ripe for us right now, so... Helios moves there and Mandicore 1 moves there as well. Medical 3 uh, traits. We got lots and lots of materials. And since our personal is now almost fully upgraded. Inappropriate Murphy being Uh, mutated on the head. The question is, what do we want uh, for Murphy? I mean, a Juggernaut Torso would absolutely be fine. Gives him also bleed immunity, viral poison immunity. The propeller legs, on the other hand, also would be good, just for extra speed. The leaping isn't bad either.
But I think that torso would suit him better. It's a bit of a strange combination. Because it doesn't really look like a cyborg. But look, on the other hand, everybody else is cyborg. I wonder if you can mutate like your head and then take two cyborg parts. Anyways, he's part of the cyborg crew. Safety limit reached. No, he cannot further mutate. Which yet again is interesting. I mean, this is super solid 45 armor uh, and both of his arms protected. It's an awesome torso. Much better than the 16 armor. So yeah, it looks a bit strange. He has skipped leg day more than once, but I think he will be a great fit for the group. Psychic Scream is good. I like that one. But it would be even better if he had um, if he had the speed up as well, giving him some more willpower. Yeah, Greg could take Boom Blast, but she really doesn't need that at the moment. Okay, Prime Team is looking absolutely well equipped. The only thing that's missing for the Prime Team is Euler getting level 7, just getting those skills. first appears to be a bunker that might hide survivors turns out to be more an archive at some point before the collapse someone used the facility to save extensive collection of long defunct operating system uh, system DOS what well, this uh, discovery causes an unusual wave of nostalgia and excitement culminating in the request from New Jericho and Sinidron for the material to be shared um, and we share it with everyone Oh, they even start liking one another more. Cool. It's one of those few events, I suppose, where everybody likes uh, one another a bit more. Okay, we're going to do this mission and then we're definitely going to do that mission over there. Personal of Tiamat 2 still regains hit points here, as you can see. In terms of bases, born in the USA, still needs its mutation lab and the training facility, but we're already doing quite well with the training facilities. They are showing a lot of promise. So, next up, since we're almost done uh, with improving our personal right so the only one who would need uh, an improvement is JP Pauly who still has the tech, op uh, tech ops armor but yeah I guess what I'm saying is the next step after we upgraded him and augmented him which we want his torso still uh, still to have the arms because the arms are really really good which means we need good legs and a good helmet for the helmet 
It's quite clear that I want mind control immunity. That's a no-brainer. It also has accuracy built in. So we can already augment that. And for the legs, it's very likely going to be the propeller legs because we need to be fast uh, with him and the turrets sometimes need elevation so jumping somewhere really would be helpful and modillo legs on the other hand are quite the opposite So yeah, we just need a bit more tech and then we're good. And Polly will be united with the group in a just in a bit. After we're doing this mission here, the Helios is going to pick him up and we're both going to meet over here. Good. Is there anything else to explore up here? Potentially not. So next exploration would be down here. Good, we're picking up Polly up here with the Helios. Manticore drops off Polly in Frozen Circuit. And we need to replace them. And we're getting Vanessa. Welcome to the team, Vanessa. You are now part of team number three. You already got your helmet, but that's pretty much about it. Uh, yeah, normal gun. Gain heavy weapon proficiency. Well, she needs two more levels for that. Some extra ammo. A shotgun if needed and one two three since she's the healer might as well load up on medkits Armor for now. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, this armor isn't too bad. It's not great either. Yeah, I think it will do. So they just need to wait a little bit and soon they will this be done. Complete. Look at that. New Jericho. We got the full suite. Everything. Unfortunately, we're still manufacturing a Helios. But yeah, once that is, once that is done, 
I can finally start building real armor and a couple of better weapons. At the moment we're still using really, really, really miserable gear. A new Jericho Haven is under attack. Well, guess what, Mendicore 3? That's your chance to shine. We are trading that and that. We're going to do that in a second. Research complete. Oh, those guys were the stingy ones, I remember. Excavation completed. Cool. Hmm. Do we have another excavation site? Up here. We could meet here, which is on the way, so... But yeah, we need to defend the Haven in a second. The aliens seem to be winning. Good. Uh, TMR2 is fully rested. Let's just double check what we got. We got Prisoner of Ice, want to do that next. We got the Rebuke, want to do that next as well. We got another quest up here. We got a quest down here. And we definitely got a quest there. So let's put Asian cow in here and we're taking JP Pauly with us. Good, Murphy is fully equipped and Polly is just missing the legs, so that'll be the next part and and we're relatively speaking done. But yeah, these guys are going to fly over here and are meeting up. Um, Tiamat, one, uh, Tiamat is ready as well and we had Prisoner of Ice here. So it's happening, that is happening, this is what we're fighting for. Um, and how is team number four actually doing? So in Born in the USA we can see that the training slabs are showing that they are effective. I would like to get the P, uh, PDWs. I have no idea what those spider drones are doing, but so far they haven't really been convincing. PDWs, uh, on the other hand, have been very convincing. So yeah, I mean, if I look at it, 
many of them are between level three and five, which means at least from the leveling perspective, they have caught up with some of the other teams. If we look at our like third team, it's yeah, pretty much level five throughout, uh, throughout the team. So purely from a leveling perspective, the training uh, works well, but clearly we need to still upgrade uh, the equipment. I mean, even with the second team, some of the equipment is good, but much of it uh, needs, needs to be further improved. If I'm just looking at the pure stats here, not even all of the soldiers do have 200 hit points. Whilst the prime team, they are running around with uh, quite, quite a bit more, 200 plus across the board. Which is, by the way, also how it should be. The Prime Team, if anything, is lacking enough uh, willpower. That could be improved. specifically with the ones that are using a lot of willpower. Shadow Realm, for instance, seems always out of willpower. I don't know what it is, but yeah. 200 to 240, 250 uh, hit points, that's good because it allows us to take a couple of punches. Uh, the ones, the newcomers in team one, they aren't yet on the same level. I mean, level four and five with inappropriate Murphy and JP Pauly. Murphy, I don't like the headpiece. I think I mean, if we can somehow change that. The psychic scream is good, but only if you already have a monster, monstrous amount of willpower because it doesn't function uh, when the enemies have more willpower. So, need to look into that, and he definitely needs more willpower overall. Uh, hit point wise, okay. His weapon skills are pathetic. So, maybe we're just giving him heavy weapon proficiency. The two strength um, it can be helpful. Just giving him some sort of a heavy weapon. Or, I mean, he, we haven't selected our second class yet. Um, I could also see a world where Murphy could uh, skill into uh, into technician and then you basically do have uh, a priest technician and vice versa technician priest so these two are actually then support units. If this wouldn't be minus four willpower, it would be an automatic uh, pick because you can leave him further behind. But yeah, even with the with the heavy weapons, I can see a couple of use cases how that can be useful. The other option is just pairing him uh, plain and simple with an assault. Or yet another option is with a berserker. Gives you pistols, uh, a melee, uh, a melee weapon, which isn't too uh, too bad, and then his uh, he would be immune to mind control. But then again, ha happens so uh, so seldomly uh, to uh, to him. He should be really in the midfield. So any form of additional utility would be helpful, and healing for one definitely is helpful. And I need better uh, ways of uh, 
of getting off mind control and the induced panic but I'll figure out a way uh, the gun itself seems to reduce willpower so that is a good idea it makes the enemy more susceptible I haven't really seen it work that well yet so maybe if you do have two priests that can work together and the other one also has this gun then you can actually uh, take someone over um, yeah the other option just a last thought and then I promise I'm done I think one of the strongest abilities if not the strongest is war cry so maybe I'm just really making him a heavy there are a couple of reasons for that I don't think that uh, he will kill a lot of them but the war cry itself is a really strong ability and having two more that can war cry would be helpful we do have two at the moment we have two at the moment but having more would be even more useful I'll think about it I'll think about it Ian has war cry I was wrong by the way we have three people Ian also has war cry I was just not at the front line with him the only one who does not have war cry is Jarenks and that's that's really my fault uh, for For picking the infiltrator class with him it's okay but i think the heavy overall would have been better yeah and the snipers are both assault snipers respectively sniper assault so they yeah they don't they don't have um the war cry ability i will need to think about it uh, n not yet fully sure maybe we're really just cross-classing them uh, so that both can heal and both uh, can use their willpower it seems that this class is also using a lot of willpower so it is just fitting that you're using both of these classes together anyways um, one last one last thought the juggernaut torso prevents us to use uh, the wings so it's not going to be a technician here maybe we're going to go uh, priest uh, so we do have one technician uh, priest which is a dedicated healer and an appropriate murphy could for instance be the heavy uh, that is going in and is helping with more war cries induced panics and so on in the front line I could see that work cool that's it for today if you do have a favorite class combo uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what that one is and other than that uh, don't forget my favorite class combo which is you clicking uh, the like button and see you in the next episode bye bye